everyone, welcome back. Today I thought I would show you my garden, show you how it's doing, seeing as we've got some absolutely glorious weather here in the UK at the moment. It's been a bit up and down, we've had some amazing weather, then a few kind of cold days or weeks and then it goes back up to being really nice again. But at the moment we're having a little bit of a heat wave. So I'm just going to take you around the garden, show you what's going on. Bananas are looking a little bit sad as we had some horrible winds a few weeks ago. But they'll soon pick up. And obviously the weather's been a bit up and down, so I think all the tropical plants are getting a bit confused with the weather. I brought my Caladium Elise outside for a bit of fresh air. This actually should have died back during the winter but because it was so mild it actually didn't die back. I'm super happy about that. And it's huge now, it was about a third of the size last year. So as you can see, the lawn is looking a little bit nicer than the last time I showed you. Although, it pretty much got eaten alive by leather jacket grubs. And I didn't even know they existed until this year. So as you can see, this side's looking really patchy. There was literally no grass on this side once I got rid of the moss. So I had to reseed the whole thing, but I couldn't do it for a few weeks because I had to try and get rid of the grubs that were under the lawn eating the roots. I'll attach a picture of what they look like on the screen. Unfortunately, there are no treatments for them in the UK. They've actually been banned. So the only thing you can use are beneficial nematodes, which I have ready to use but because the temperatures aren't consistent at night at the moment, I can't actually apply them to the lawn yet. So I basically had to just drench the lawn, cover it with black kind of um, plastic sheeting, and then in the morning go and pick all the grubs out of the lawn, or alternatively, you can soak the lawn and then go out quite late at night and they've all kind of surfaced. So I did that for a couple of weeks and I collected quite a lot, probably a few hundred. But now when I go out at night, there's barely any. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they've actually, well, that I actually got most of them. We'll see. This is the new bed that I dug recently. So my Colocasia esculenta will actually be planted in here in June. But at the moment, because the nighttime temperatures are a little bit chilly, I have to bring him in during the day. So I have been acclimatising the Esculenta out in the garden for the last month or so. So for the first couple of weeks I was putting it in the shade and then slowly introducing it to a sunnier position so that once it's out in the sun in the garden planted in this bed it won't get any sunburn. Exactly the same with my red Abyssinian. Here's one of the new signs I made for my garden out of some scrap wood. That kept me busy for a few days. I just found some old scrap wood in the shed, filed it down, sanded it, stained it, and then hand drew the design and then painted it with acrylics and then applied three layers of varnish. I'm not going to step on this side just because it's all seed at the moment and I don't want to trample on it. But the bed's looking quite nice. Everything seems to be taking off, especially the Fatsia japonicas. And the Hydrangea simanii, as you can see, has started to climb a bit higher up the fence. This is one of the tree ferns that I dug out of that bed because it was getting too big. I'm not sure whether to put it in a pot, sell it, or plant it in this 
middle section here. I'm not sure yet. You can see the cannons are starting to come up, which is amazing. So we've got the Cleopatra there. Durban. And over here we've got Champion. And my dahlias are also starting to come back. Also the hibiscus and the colocasia pink chinas, although they are taking their time. I gave my cordyline a bit of a trim today. My gunner is doing really well. This was tiny last year. It started to flower, but I am going to cut these flowers off so that the plant can focus its energy into the enormous, beautiful leaves because I want to get some huge leaves from it this year. I keep this well watered. As you can see, it's sat in a saucer. So I do water it thoroughly every evening. Flare is doing really well. Some more new growth coming. I really love this, it's one of my favourite plants in the garden. Wouldn't mind getting another one. I'd quite like to get some more palms as well. My tree fern which is currently getting tangled in my hair. It's doing well. The new fronds are finally starting to emerge. You can just about see them there. You can feel them. They feel nice and firm. My host has come up. It looks really beautiful. This, again, was quite small last year, so it's probably tripled in size. Last year the slugs enjoyed most of it, so I'm quite happy to see it looking a little bit better this year. Definitely need to give my Japanese cloud tree a prune. These are meant to look like really neat kind of cloud shapes. So that will keep me busy one afternoon when I've got some time. My T-Rex is coming along. Leaves are getting a nice size now. Again, this was really small when I got it last year. And I'm really happy to see that it's actually got a bit of a trunk now. growing a few things at the moment. I've got some mint, a few different types of mint. Some of these pots, I can't even remember what's in them, to be honest. I know these were hibiscus, and I'm not sure if they are going to come back or not, because they are not a hardy variety. I kept them in the shed over winter, so I don't know, you never know, they might come back. We'll see. Got some more cannas coming up here. This is Canna Pretoria. All I did was put a layer of mulch over them for the winter and that was enough to keep them protected. I'm growing some tomatoes this year. One of my lovely neighbours dropped them off to me a few days ago. I've never grown tomatoes before so I'm quite excited about that. Another begonia. Passiflora started to grow back. My Callistamon's doing really well. It's really taken off. It's getting really big now. I'm really looking forward to it flowering this year. The flowers are so beautiful. I really love this honeysuckle. It's called Drop Moss Scarlet. 
flowers pretty much all summer. It has got a bit wild, I keep trimming it. As you can see, it's still a bit crazy. Just sat here on my sofa now on the patio. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the tour. Obviously the garden's not looking its best at the moment, but in a couple of months it's gonna look amazing and I'll keep you posted. Keep safe everyone and see you all soon in my next video. Take care, bye.